I'm back again and um, first thing I want to say thank you so much uh, for being there with me and for praying for me. I got so many mails that I was not keeping too well and how I'm doing now and all that. I am okay. I am back and I'm fit. Uh, yes, uh, I'm back again with another video for you all. And uh, today's video is, yes, yes, weight loss. A natural way of weight loss. That's the video for today. Um, and uh, a little twist with that I'm going to give you all. Well, everyone knows that uh, weight loss is not easy, but it is not difficult also. But uh, well, today I want to show you how to get rid of fat from your body. Well, every human has fat in their body, but this will reduce on fat, they will cut down on fat naturally. Well, workout is very much necessary for your body. You need to work out. You need to go for walking. You need to swim. You need to do aerobics. You need to jog. But only one thing I would say is don't do anything permanent. For example, if you're going for gymming, don't continue gymming always. Like, keep it for two, three months gymming and then quit gymming and do something else like aerobics or do swimming or go for walking or go for jogging or do belly dancing. Anything do but don't repeat your workout. Because your body system is so used to the workouts what you normally do. If I'm working out and I'm doing gymming and I'm doing gymming, the results will be shown in, in, in you can say two or three months. After that, you will be thinking Ki, why I'm not reducing weight. So basic thing is you need to continue doing different, different workouts, not the only one workout. Because your body gets so used to it and your body knows, okay, tomorrow morning you have to get up and do the whole same thing. So, when I started working out, I started with normal dancing, then I went on for walking, I changed my workout into jogging, then I uh, started going for gymming, then again I quit, I went for swimming, then again I quit, I went for aerobics. So that's how I, I, I do my workouts. And for sure you will reduce weight, that's, that's the most simple way of reducing weight. You don't need to keep doing the whole time weights the whole time, you don't need to keep and you get bored or sort of it, you can't keep doing one thing all the time. So the healthy way of reducing weight is do workouts every day, in a week, one day you need off for your muscles to get, you know, give the rest to your muscles and all that, relax one day and the six days you need to work out. And six days, don't work out for more than an hour because after one hour your muscles will stop working, you will get tired. That one hour, you should do continuously. You should sweat and you should continuously. Don't work out uh, in an air-conditioned room. It's, it's rather don't have fan on or don't have an AC on. Uh, it will be better for you, so you will sweat. Uh, that's one good uh, way of reducing weight. And the second thing is never continue working with the same workout. If today you're doing weights, tomorrow go for walking, day after go for aerobics, then again do weights, then walking aerobics. As your system gets used to that, in three months change your workout. Go whatever sports you like. If you like tennis, go for tennis. If you like hockey, go for hockey. If you like playing basketball, go for basketball. But play one kind of a sports which is really good. Uh, go for swimming. Uh, swimming is one of the best exercise for reducing weight. That's, that's very important. Now, um, what else I would like to tell you is um, the right way of losing weight uh, is you need to intake the right amount of food. You don't need to gulp down all the food at one time. I have seen so many people, they eat nicely, they say, oh, you need to eat this, you need to eat that. Yeah, but if you start eating so much, where will your system get placed to digest? So I would only say, you know, cut down your meals, make it five times a day or six times a day. That's the right way of reducing your weight also. It'll help you reduce your weight. In, instead of taking so much, one intake uh, for breakfast and one intake for lunch, that would not be good. I've seen so many of my friends, they eat four chapatis, five chapatis or rotis uh, and uh, they eat rice and they say, oh, we are full, they have eaten so much and all that and then on top of that, they eat ice cream. But this will screw your body totally. I would take, I would only suggest and I would normally eat like a food where it's divided into five or six meals. Like morning you get up, you can have oats or you can have any kind of a fiber juice. Now what is fiber juice? What, what is exactly fiber? 
fiber is basically vegetables, it's fruits, it's um, more of what do you say, uh, oats comes into fiber. So there are, there are a lot of, you can have spinach. So make one kind of a juice out of it. Oh, banana stem. Banana stem also is very good. It's pure fiber. 99% is fiber in that. That, what is fiber? Basically it helps to cut down your fat from your body. That's a simple way to explain you what's fiber. That is cut, cut down all your fat from your body. So basic thing, I'll show you what is exactly banana stem. This is banana stem. This is how it looks like. Okay, and this is, when it's peeled off, it looks like this. So what you can do is, you, you have got to cut, cut into pieces, you can have vegetables with it, you can just make a vegetable out of it, or you can have it plain like that also, boil it and have it, or you can steam it and have it, or you can have it as a juice. And when you have it as a juice, it does taste horrible, but yes, of course, it will get you down totally. It will make you half of what you are. So, that's one thing will help you out is uh, having fiber juice uh, and any kind of fiber juice it can even be carrot carrot also is fiber any vegetable you know is fiber fruits are fiber and you can have lots of vegetables and fruits which is very good for health uh, and uh, like even you can have is loki bottle gut or you can have apple you can have uh, these bananas are sweet uh, so you can have them but you can you have to have it occasionally you can't you know keep eating all this every now and then so this you have to have it occasionally but yeah this is also fiber this is also banana is fiber so you need to have it occasionally not always uh, carrot is very good carrot juice is very good carrot juice is good even for your skin so all these things are really good you need to intake all this if you want to reduce weight uh, fast and um, when you're cutting down your meals into five, uh, you know, different, different five parts, different, different five meals which you're going to have. The first thing is you can have is um, when you get up morning, you can have, you know, lime with a um, uh, little bit of uh, honey and uh, hot with hot water. That also is very good. You can have turmeric with hot water. That also is very good. It cuts down your fat and, you know, you will feel really good having that. And the second thing is you can, after an hour or two, you can have your proper breakfast, whatever you want to have. You can have milk. Yeah, you can have milk, but I would only suggest you to have slim milk. You get those canned slim milk, which is really good. Uh, and you get even those sugar-free, uh, sugar free, uh, you know, small pills you get or sachets you get. That also is very good. Always have a healthy diet. Never ever suffer saying that you don't want to eat all this and you go down without eating all this is not good. Uh, after an hour or two, you can have an orange juice or you can have a guava juice. Orange and guava, there are two uh, juices, is very good for your health because it's on fiber, totally on fiber and there's no sugar content in it. But when you compare it with watermelon, it has glucose, it won't help you to reduce weight. So you need to avoid watermelon, you need to avoid juices like, uh, what do you say, um, grape, black grapes. Uh, these kind of juices, if you avoid, will be good for your health because uh, they have sugar content in that, a natural sugar content in that, but still that's bad. You can have it occasionally and um, yeah, you so guava is good, guava and orange is good. You can have that juice every single day. And um, as I told you is um, banana stem, it's called Valakonda juice also. That also you can have it every single day. It's very good for your body. It's very good. It gives the glow to your face and you'll reduce weight also with that. And again after an hour or two you can have, you know, your normal morning you get up, you can have oats or you can have brown bread. Don't have a white bread, have a brown bread. Brown bread is good for your health. Avoid butter, avoid cheese, all these things. No, complete stop. And yeah, you can have occasionally if you want to. Uh, yes, next is pizzas and burgers and all that, have that occasionally. Okay, and whenever you're following your diet in your system, uh, you're having five meals, uh, trick your system for, as I told you, when it comes for, um, what do you say, you go for your workouts and all that, as I say, you need to trick your body every now and then, like don't do your same workouts, you need to keep changing your workouts, then only reduce weight, the same way it comes even for your intake of food. If today you're having a food and you're continuing it for a week, 
you know, you're all six days you're having your diet food. The seventh day, go down and have a biryani. So go down and have a pizza. For sure, you'll reduce weight. That's called freaking your body. I think that's it. I said, all follow all these tips, and uh, I'm, I can guarantee you, you will come down to the you know weight you normally wanted to. And it's not difficult at all. It's just very easy. You need to learn your body. You need to trick your body. If you do all this, for sure, within 10-15 days, you'll find the result. You'll come down to what you are. And uh, yeah, that's it I have for today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow all this and email me and tell me how, you know, is it giving you a result or not. And put down your before and after pictures. Uh, it will show you lots of difference. I will put down my before and after pictures for sure. A uh, few months or a year before picture, I'll put down. I'll put down a picture right now. You can see the difference in before and after. I was little chubby, and yes, I was very fat. So forget about that. Years back, as I told you in my introduction, I used to weigh 108 kilos, and that was not a joke. I had reduced so much. Uh, so if you follow all these tips, for sure you'll become sexy and thin, and you'll look good. So that's it for today's video, and. Love you guys as always. Follow me on uh, Twitter, like me on Facebook, and please press the subscribe button because I don't know why you guys don't subscribe me. I am. Um, please subscribe me. <laughs> you have to just press that because it's free. And you and yeah, if you don't have an account, you can just create an account for me. Come on, you can do that for me. Okay? So just do that and subscribe me. That's it I have for today.